بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے ود مائکروسافٹ ایکسل نیو لیسن وی آر ہیئر اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دیٹ ہاؤ کوڈ وی کیلکولیٹ دا ٹوٹل سیلس آف اے پرٹیکولر کمپنی فار ایگزامپل اینی کمپنی اینی پروفیشن اینی فیلڈ یو کین کیلکولیٹ ٹوٹل سیلس پرچیز ایٹسیکٹرا سو اٹ از ویری ایزی ان مائکروسافٹ ایکسل and before that i will discuss some features that are related to the previous lesson that how could you centralize the tax in microsoft excel 2013 and 2016 it is uh, very easy that you have to select the text as the previous lesson in the previous lesson i have discussed that how could you change the font color and font size and width of the column and the row now today we are going to share that how could you centralize the text alignment for example this is fezan computer system a heading and i want to centralize this heading so what will i do so you have to move your mouse pointer to the particular cell address for example this one is c2 address and you have to right click from your mouse pointer and you will see there is a option of format cell a menu is appear and in that menu on the bottom side there is a option format cell you have to choose the format cell option then there is a dialog box appear on the screen you can see a dialog box and it has different tab number alignment font border fill and protection one by one in the different lessons of the microsoft excel we will discuss all about these features but right now i i'm going to share you that how could you align a text for example you have to click on the alignment tab and there is a option horizontally and vertically for example for what uh, range you want to align your text for example with respect to horizontal and with respect to vertical for example with respect to horizontal I want to align my text not journal I want to align centralized so I will choose from this tab center and after that I will click on the okay button so you will see that my text is aligned with centralized you can see now again I will change the position of this text for example this one is the C4 so again you have to select the text or the cell address and click right click from the mouse button or from your laptop tab on the right click then there is a menu appear and you will see there is a option format cell and from form format cell you have to select there is a dialog box appear on the screen and it has six tab and from the alignment tab you have to select the horizontal position or alignment of the text so right now it is left aligned or left indent so right now i want to choose this one to center and click okay so you will see that the text is aligned centralized and it looks little bit better for example you are going to uh, create any kind of sale report or purchase report of your company so it looks little bit better to align the text now right now i am going to move towards the calculation of quarterly sale of that company for example total sales there is a column that is e7 in e7 i want to calculate the total sales of this company so how could you calculate the three months or quarterly sale of this company so you have to choose e7 right now my cell address is e seven you can see name box there is e7 is appearing now after clicking or after choosing the cell address you have to move towards the fx window of formula bar and here you have to write equal to sign and again you want to calculate sum 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 of what or where sum of cell address is b7 from b7 you want to calculate the total so you have to click on the b7 
So you will see that B7 is address automatically appear on the FX window formula window. So again, you want to increase the range of the sum or total. You have to move your mouse pointer towards right side up to the March column or column number D you can see in the column number D. So the address of the D cell is appearing on the FX window formula bar you can see. So you want to calculate the total sale of January, February, March from cell address B7 to D7. So after that you have to close the small window, small bracket and press enter. Then you will see the total cell is appear into the window. You can see 1114. 114 number of computer sales in last three months of Apple brand. So like this, you, you want to calculate the all brand sales in the last quarterly, for example, last three months. So you have again and again, there is no need to for apply formula again and again like this. I have applied in the E7 address. So again, I have to just move my, my mouse pointer on the right bottom side of the dot. You can see this dot and there is a plus black color plus sign is appear. When the black plus sign is appear, you have to left mouse, uh, left mouse button down and drag from where you want to calculate the total sales. So you can see automatically that formula is apply all over the cells, the total range where you have mentioned, for example, E12. So you can see automatically total quarterly sale is calculated. Just you have applied that formula on the one cell. This is the quality of the Microsoft Excel that there is no need to write formula again and again. You have to only one time write the formula and that formula can be applied all over the sheet. While there is hundreds of columns or hundreds of values or thousands of values, but the Microsoft Excel is uh, in less than a second calculate the total values of those columns. I hope students you have understood what I have explained in the today's lecture of Microsoft Excel 2013 and 16. You have to apply these features or these formulas into your uh, Microsoft Excel sheet. And you have any difficulty you can ask in the next lecture, we will come with the new lesson of Microsoft Excel 2013 and 16. Until that, Allah Hafiz, I am signing out.